so in today's video we're going to talk about how to study last minute. Now I don't, I don't do this ever because I'm too stressed out, there is no way I study last minute, but I used to. When I was in high school, beginning of CJEP, um, I was very last minute, like two, two days a day before the exam, I would just like cram it. I thought it would be very helpful for some of you if I did this video because I know a lot of people do study last minute and although I highly advise you not to, if you do or if something happened and you have no other choice, uh, I wanted you to have this video for like just some guidelines if you need help. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, now I just want to define last minute for you, I mean two days a day before an exam and I'm not talking about a final because if you do that for a final oof, I can't help you there I've never done that so I don't know I don't know how to do that uh, I'm talking about midterms or small tests that are not worth more than like I don't know 30 40 percent so if you are still with me after that let's continue now the first thing you need to do is to gather everything you have in front of you, just pile it on on your desk or if you like to study in bed like I do, just like pile it all there so you have everything in front of you so you know what you're dealing with. Just start by your slides. Uh, if you have on the on the computer, just pull them out so they're all open or if you have them print them out, just take all the slides out. Now what you should do is read all of the slides once or twice and read them carefully because it's important you can't just skim through it you have to read it very carefully and if you want this is very helpful the first time you read it just highlight the important points so then the second time when you read it the important points are gonna pop to you so you'll remember them more and also if you engage the material you're more right you're more likely to retain it Moving on after you're done with the slides, those are usually where the majority of my questions come from. Well, the classes I took usually come mostly from the slides, but if you have a textbook and if the teacher pays particular attention to the textbook also, well, you're last minute so you can't really go into detail, but it's really a good idea to either just quickly look at each chapter if you didn't do notes on it, so just quickly look at it, uh, just to get an idea of like the images or like what they're talking about so you have a gist of it in your head. Um, also what I would suggest is read the chapter summaries because some textbooks do a really good job at summarizing each chapter, so that's a definite must. But if you were, if you actually took the time to write chapter notes, voila, you're all set, just read your chapter notes and you, you don't have to worry about that because you've done all the work. Uh, but in case you didn't, stick with the chapter summaries and you should have a pretty good gist of what the book talks about. And after you've done all that, I highly suggest you take a blank piece of paper and you go through the slides and the book again, uh, well the chapter summaries, and you make a list of key terms. So like every term that is specific to your discipline, to whatever you're studying, write them down and a short really quick definition of it. How to know what are the important keywords or key phrases? Think of it this way, if I go tomorrow to my friend who is not in psychology and ask him or her, hey, do you know what Maslow hierarchy of needs is? And they'll go like, huh? That's a key term, you should know it. Uh, if it's like, what's psychosomatic? You, you know, your friend is like, I, uh, uh huh? you need to know it. So focus on the words that are specific to what you're studying and write them down, like make yourself a list, bullet points really fast, uh, define them in a phrase max so you have it with you and then you can forget the slides, you can forget the textbook, just have that list of key terms with you and study that, read that two or three times or if you're the type of person that likes to review things last minute like right at the door of the exam, that is a good thing to have with you because most of the questions are going to focus or include key terms in them so if you know what they are you'll have better chances of understanding the questions and better chances of it getting a good grade and getting away with it with studying last minute. 
And the last thing you should do is, of course, I know you're in a rush, I know you're panicking because you're studying last minute and you're nervous, and you will have to cram it, you will have to like just like binge study, but do not neglect your sleep. I know some people that study until like 4 in the morning and their exam is at like 8. Don't do that because your brain needs to sleep to process all the information. Um, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but this happens to me a lot. Like, let's say I study and I'm like, oh my god, I feel like I know nothing. I know nothing. What's happening? I studied so much and I know nothing. And then I go to sleep and the next morning, bam, it's all there. Your brain needs to let everything sink in. So if you deprive it of sleep, if you deprive yourself of sleep, you won't know anything because it's all confused, it's all a mess in your head. So definitely don't neglect your sleep even if I know you, you're short on time, but don't neglect that, it's very important. So that's it for my video today, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me if you enjoy what I post. <laughs> I will definitely see you in my next video and I wish you the best of luck with your studies and with your finals. Relax, I'm here, I got your back. And if there's anything else you would like me to talk about in terms of school, by all means, let me know. Bye guys, see you later!